This is the second part of your solubility lesson, and in the first part, we were able to get initial concentrations of ions. Why would you want to do that? To calculate QIP so that you could determine if precipitation occurs. And if QIP is greater than KSP, the reverse reaction is favored and precipitation occurs. The other thing you want to be able to do is calculate equilibrium concentrations of ions. Now this is very advanced. I hope you don't see it in May. Um, we're going to walk through. You'll be successful with it. I promise your part two will be much easier, okay? What we're looking at here is it says calculate equilibrium concentrations of ions in the solution after precipitation. So if precipitation occurs, QIP must be greater than KSP. Calculate equilibrium concentrations of these two ions when 100 mils of 0.05 molar lead 2 nitrate and 200 mils of 0.1 molar sodium iodide are mixed. The KSP of lead 2 iodide is provided. I want you to try and do that. You already know how to do it. And then I'll walk you through the new stuff, but let's make sure that you can do what we covered the first half. Say it again. Because keep in mind, only certain substances will precipitate. All right, so we want to get the initial concentrations of ions. Are you done? No. Didn't think so. Exa same thing to get started. That was really interesting. <laughs> wow. And these are both one to one, making it pretty easy. What's the total volume? Do you have the initial concentrations of ions? 
And did you calculate QIP? Did you remember to square the iodide? Yes. Why do we need to square the iodide? <laughs> Come on, guys, let's focus. Did you get this? Yes? Something in the ballpark. It might depend on your Siggy Wiggies. Do you have the millimoles correct? All right, something in the ballpark, yes? They gave you concentrations of substances that then you're going to mix together and the volume changes. So the first thing you always do is get the initial concentrations and make sure precipitation occurs. How do you know precipitation occurs? QIP is greater than KSP. Now here's the new piece and it is a doozy. Here's your precipitation reaction. You've got Lead two ion plus two iodide ion yielding lead two iodide. So before the reaction occurs or initially what you've got is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 2 molar, and here you have 6.67 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. And this is going to be after the reaction. Now you're going in the forward direction. You are provided with two givens. You must determine the limiting reagent. Is this quantity more than two times this one? Yes. Is the amount given of this more than twice this? It is. So this substance is in excess, and this is your limiting reagent. Back from the beginning of the year, the limiting reagent is used up completely and it determines how much product you make. You're going to use it all. Nothing left. Why am I going to multiply that amount by 2? Because of the coefficient. And so what I have left here is going to be the concentration of iodide ion at equilibrium. And instead of putting it here, I just wrote it here. That's the first one. My KSP is equal to lead 2 ion times iodide ion squared. This is given. I now have this. I can solve for lead 2 ion concentration. No, because as the equilibrium persists, you'll generate some, but not as much as that. Correct?
and you can go after two or three sig figs. This is given in two, so you should probably go this. But you can give me either answer. Okay. All righty. There is another problem I would like you to try in your notes. And I the answers are there. I can work it out if you need me to. I am giving you your practice quiz of which you can do almost all. And I'm giving you two pogo packets stapled together. The common ion you can do already. The fractional precipitation will hold off on. I'd like you to try this problem up on the screen. The answer is there. And again, the answers are there already. I'll let you work through those. And just in this last piece, you want to be able to calculate equilibrium concentrations of ion. It does require a precipitation reaction with limiting reagent. Be very careful. <laughs>